God in the book of Genesis chapter number 1. I read from verses 1 to verse number 6. In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Verse 3, And God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, that it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. And God called the light day, and the darkness night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. Praise God. So, brethren, you have seen that in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And he saw that there was disorder, there was chaos. Everything was scattered. There was no way this earth could sustain life. And God knew that the absence of the light made it impossible for life to exist on earth. And so God made a very important declaration. He decreed, let there be light. And as he decreed, surprisingly, the whole earth that was full of darkness, light appeared from the darkness. Only God, the God we serve, the God of miracles, the God of impossibilities, can call out light from darkness. Praise his name. And so, light came. And that is how it became possible to have plants. It became possible to have animals. It became possible to create and sustain human life because there was light. Brothers and sisters, we are moving into a new year, the year 2022. This year is as chaotic as the earth was when there was no light. This year is as disorderly. This year is full of plagues. This year is full of evil, just like the earth was when there was no light. And so there is something very important you have to do. God has already given us, the human being, those that believe in Jesus Christ. God has already given us the authority to decree things according to Job chapter 22, verse number 28. It reads, you shall decree a thing and it shall be established and the light shall shine before you. Praise the Lord. So, it is now left for you to have this understanding that the year is not ready for you. The year has not been arranged for you. The year has not been prepared for you. And know that there is an enemy who is always jealous of you. There is an enemy who is always jealous of man. This enemy is not happy to see man occupy the position that God created for him. That is the same reason for which he crafted a scheme and sent Adam and Eve out of the Garden of Eden. So, he is busy decreeing evil into the new year. He is busy decreeing sicknesses into the new year. The devil is busy decreeing failure into the new year. He is decreeing death and diseases into the new year. Brothers and sisters, we cannot sit like people who don't know what to do. We cannot sit like ignorant people. We are spiritual people and we know that the weapon of our warfare are not carnal but spiritual. So, it is left for you to also rise up like God did and decree life into the year 2022. Decree favor for your life. Decree long life. Decree wellness. Decree prosperity in the year 2022. Decree all what you need. Happiness. Victory. Decree them into the new year. You have to do that. If you fail to do that, if you, if you want to go back 
to the dark ages, the days we live without knowledge, the days we thought that we could just live the way we want and yet get results, then you are in for a deal. If you think that these are the days you can just ignorantly go to transit into the new year through a nightclub or through a wild party or through some other uh, means, then, brothers and sisters, you are in for the surprises of the new year. But if you know that this world is spiritual, that life is spiritual, if you have the understanding that the battle line has been drawn, if you have the understanding that the opponent is already standing on the other side, in fact, the opponent has only one assignment. The opponent does not have as many assignments as you and I do. We go to school, we go to the shop, we go to the market, we sleep, we cook, we do sports, we have leisure time. The enemy does not have all these time allocations. The enemy has only one time allocation, and his time has been allocated to counter you, to pull you down, to make sure that all you set to do fails. That is all the enemy does. He does not sleep, he does not go to school, he does not go to work, he doesn't shop, the enemy doesn't cook. He does nothing but look for means to counter you, to pull you down, to destroy your destiny. Remember the Bible says in John chapter 10, verse number 10, that the enemy comes but to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Which means that what? Whatever he does, he ends up doing one of the three things. Either he is killing, he is stealing, or he is destroying. So brothers and sisters, it is time for us to stand up like people of wisdom, like people who are knowledgeable in spiritual things, and decree goodness, decree mercy, decree wellness, decree all the good things we need in the new year. Because that year will carry the things that you don't want if you allow the enemy to decree the things that he usually decrees in the new year. Remember, the new year is like a virgin land. It's like a virgin farm. You need to go there and sow something. If you fail to sow something in the land, someone else will sow tares there for you. The enemy will plant tares in the land for you. And if you don't sow the good seed, then be ready to harvest the tares. But brothers and sisters, God forbid, we shall not harvest tares, for we shall sow good seeds on our farms. Praise God. So brethren, I want us to pray. You know, the essence of the word, the essence of the preaching or the teaching is to lead us to prayer. So right now, I want us to pray this prayer. Say, in the name of Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, I counsel any negative word spoken against me, against my life in the new year, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I counsel the plan of the enemy for my family. I counsel the plan of the enemy for my life. I counsel the plan of the enemy for my destiny. I counsel the plan of the enemy for my family members in the year 2022, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against that word. I come against every negative word the enemy might have spoken against my life in the name of Jesus. I override that word with authority in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I come against the word. I come against the word. I come against the word in the name of Jesus Christ. I say the word of the enemy will not prevail because I speak in the name of Jesus, the mighty man in battle, the king of kings and the lord of lords. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Now I want you to understand that there are people who have sat in places discussing you and planning to frustrate your year 2022. There are people who have gone offering evil sacrifices on evil altars to make sure that your 2022 is a desert, to make sure that it is a blank year. Some are even doing that to stop you from entering the year. And some have even said, if you enter the year, you will not see the end of the year. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want you to begin to speak against that word. Speak 
speak against that word in the name of Jesus. Say, anybody who has said, I will not enter the year 2022, he is a liar, she is a liar in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father says, I will live, and I will live in the name of Jesus. He says, I will live. The word says, I will live uh, to testify to the goodness of God. And that is what I go by. I don't go by what the witch doctors say. I don't go by what the sorcerers say. I don't go by what the haters say. I go by what the word of God says. The word of God is my guide. The word of God is my fortress. The word of God is my shield. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember, we started by saying that there was darkness, there was chaos, there was no life until God prophesied that let there be light and light came out of darkness. So I want you to know that even your wellness is hiding somewhere inside darkness, waiting for you to pronounce the word for it to come out. Your favor, your prosperity, your success is hiding somewhere in darkness, waiting for you to prophesy for it to come out. So because the devil, the enemy has been prophesying evil into the new year, I want you to counter it by also prophesying goodness. Prophesy mercy, prophesy wellness, prophesy favor, prophesy happiness, prophesy long life, prophesy any good thing that you expect in the year 2022. Begin to make that prophecy. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I prophesy happiness into the year 2022. I shall be happy in the year 2022. My family shall be happy. My brothers and sisters shall be happy in the mighty name of Jesus. My brethren shall be happy in the name of Jesus Christ. My colleagues shall be happy. My classmates shall be happy. My neighbor shall be happy in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. There will be no death. There will be no sickness. There will be favor. In fact, enemies will favor me. Strangers will favor me. People who do not know me, they will favor me. People will come from the east to favor me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Father. Thank you for crowning my prayers with a positive response, for I know that is what you do. In your capacity as the covenant-keeping God, every time I pray, your answer is yea and amen. Let it be established in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, because you don't know who you've been dealing with, you go to work, you work with people you don't know. You live with neighbors you don't know. You go to class and sit with people you don't know. In fact, you are surrounded by people you don't know. There are some of them that are with you in the morning, they are with you in the afternoon, in the evening, in the night they are with you. There are some of them that are with you throughout the day, throughout the week, throughout the month. But they are not there because they love you. They are not there because they wish you well. They are there just to make sure that you don't take any right decision. They are there to make sure that they mislead you in the morning, they mislead you in the afternoon, they mislead you in the evening, they mislead you in the night, and do that throughout the week and throughout the month and throughout the year. So for that reason, I want you to go into the year 2022 with your eyes open. Ask your Father in heaven to open your eyes and begin to expose to you the people you are dealing with. Say, mighty father, say, great king, say, my lord and my savior, expose to me the people I am dealing with. Expose to me the people I communicate with. Expose to me the people I work with. Expose to me the people that I do business with in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My father, my father, I am dealing with people that I don't know. I don't understand them. I don't know their goal behind me, but I know that father you know, and I know Know you will expose them to me open their secrets to me expose their true faces expose their true spirits expose their true selves to me my father in the wonderful name of jesus christ thank you holy father thank you mighty god in jesus precious name amen yes brothers and sisters that was just a word of exhortation to keep you alert so you know that 2022 is not going to be engaged just like any other year. It's a year for us to engage very firmly. Remember the enemy is always there looking for someone to devour. First Peter 5, it says it, that he is looking for someone to devour. Praise the Lord. He is always there looking for someone to pull down. Yet you are working, you are schooling, you go to church, you go to the gym, 
You go to the shop, you cook, you do many other things, but the enemy has only one thing he is doing, and that thing is to frustrate your life, to pull you down, to destroy you. Praise God. So I just pray that we engage the year 2022 with open eyes, with revelation, and with an exceptional vision. Thank you so much. God bless you.